Hey, what's up everybody, and welcome back to the Sanctuary. Today we're going to do something very different. We're going to play a little game, have a little fun for once in here. We're going to play a game called Name That Skull. I'm going to show you some skulls, and you see if you can figure out what animal it belongs to. The game will be simple. I will show you a series of skulls, and pepper them with some clues to help you figure out what animal they belong to. And see how many you can get right. Let's start it off. Okay. I live about 10 years in the wild. You can find me in all 48 states. Yes, I know there's 50, but I'm talking about the mainland United States. And my main source of food is rabbits and rodents. Who am I? I'm a bobcat. All right, this next critter lives near water. It's found on five continents. The ones it's not found on are Europe and Antarctica. And it pretty much will eat any animal that gets too close to its mouth. This is a saltwater crocodile. Okay, what do we got here? I can live to be about 15 years old. Humans domesticated me about 9,000 years ago, although some evidence it could be even older than that. And right now on the planet, there are over 300 different species of me. I'm a goat. Okay, this fella here can use tools, can even create own tools from materials around him. Normal range is somewhere around the equator in Africa. And he prefers to eat fruits if possible, but he can eat other parts of the plant too, like the roots and the nuts and the seeds and so forth. Who is this guy? Well, he's a chimpanzee. Okay. I live only about four or five years in the wild. I'm an omnivore, which means I will eat pretty much anything around me that I can eat. And I'm a big boy. Males can get up to 600 pounds, 275 kilos. Who's this guy? He's a wild boar. Okay. Strangely enough, these animals only sleep about four hours a day. Sounds like you and me, right? lives in sub-Saharan Africa. And he's probably the tallest animal at the zoo. Yeah, kind of a giveaway, but the horns up there show me it's a giraffe. Okay, next skull. This guy lives about 20 years. There are almost one billion of this animal on the earth right now. And this is revered as a holy animal in a major religion. It's a cow. Moo. Okay, this one looks a little ferocious. Oh, in fact, it kills over 500 people every year. Lives in some parts of Africa. And it can weigh up to 4,000 pounds. Yeah, I bet you figured this one out. It's a hippo. All right, we got five skulls of the same critter, different aspects. This one might be a little trickier. This one lives in trees. It's smaller. Its whole body is smaller than four inches. And its favorite food is ants and beetles. Who's this guy? It's a tree frog. They have skulls too. Okay. This critter is black and white. Females can live longer than the males. Sometimes upwards of 80 years has been documentation of maybe even 100 years. And they're found in every ocean on the earth. If you want a little hint, look at the very top of the frontal bone. 
and you can see a big hole in the top of the head. What the heck can that be? Well, it's a blowhole for the killer whale, or orca, some people call them. All right, this guy only lives, you know, a year sometimes in the wild. He eats pretty much whatever he can find, little seeds, little grasses, little grains. The keyword is little. But if you give him a choice between carbs or cheese, he actually prefers the carbs over the cheese. Must be a mouse we're talking about. Okay, it may seem obvious at first, but which one is it? So it can fly up to 100 miles per hour. I can find them in northern Mexico, almost all of the U.S., and most parts of Canada. And his favorite food is fish, but can eat other things if necessary or have the opportunity to. This guy is... A bald eagle. All right, notice the size of it. It's being held in the palm of a hand there. What is this? Well, it can live up to 30 years, which surprised me. There are over 42 different species of this critter across the globe. And the largest one ever found was 30 feet long, almost 10 meters. That kind of gives it away. It must be a, a python. All right. This one looks very serious. They can live about 40 years in the wild. They are herbivores. Even though they got those gigantic teeth, they don't hunt meat. They chew plants with it. But if it had to, it could bite down pretty hard. It's got a bite force of over... 1300 pounds per square inch so what is this guy a gorilla okay lifespan of about 20 years or so it's only about 200,000 of this critter worldwide A variety of species but he prefers to eat salmon but if he has to, he'll eat some berries, maybe some squirrels if he can catch it. There's a brown bear. Okay, we got three guys here. Uh, a little bit different in the shape of the skull. They live underground. Although they hunt above ground. But they hunt by themselves at night. But if they do have some sort of a family unit, it's known as a leash or a skulk. These are foxes. And on the left is a bat-eared fox. In the middle is the red fox. And on the right is the gray fox. All right, what is this? Well, it uses bushes for shelter, even though it could go under rocks or in caves. It chooses to just hang out under bushes, especially when it's hot. Usually eats grass and herbs, but does so at night, a nocturnal grazing animal. And its range is most of Australia, so that pretty much gives it away as a red kangaroo. All right, what do we got here? Looks kind of like that bear skull, doesn't it? Lives about 15 years. You can find them in the grasslands of Africa, the savanna. And they live in groups of, you know, up to 30 animals called prides. Of course, this must be the king of the jungle, the lion. All right, what have we here? This animal loves a good dust bath, but who doesn't really? It's called a hippotigris in ancient Rome, and if you know the root words, hmm, that gives you a big clue. 
And it is the, when you talk about migration lengths of mammals found in Africa, this is the group of animals that have the longest migration length. Hippotigris, tiger, horse, it's a zebra. Okay, one last one. Hmm, looks suspiciously familiar. It's got 32 teeth, just like you do, potentially. It likes to eat fruit, but it can eat harvest grasses and some tubers, potato-like plants. And it's very, very, very old. What have we here? An Australopithecus, one of the ancient human ancestors. How'd you do? Jeff fun, at least? If so, thanks for watching it. Check out some other videos that are more serious if you want to learn about bones, skin, histology, a lot of things on my channel. See you for the next one. Bye-bye.